Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of OptionSource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there, and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 17th, 2010. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Let's start off with a look at a weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Well, the dollar index showed some indecision this week after testing as high as 78 and as low as 76. We saw the index close at approximately 77. Now, a rally off of these lows suggests a possible retracement may be lining up, bringing the 78-79 focal zone into the picture as an upside target. Now, failure to hold above 77 opens the window for a continuation lower towards the 74.75 box. A quick look at a daily snapshot reflects a near-term upside target of 78.78.5. 78 Let's take a look at the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the U.S. dollar dipped as low as par last week against the Canadian dollar. This 100-101 level should provide strong support this week. While the immediate trend line suggests down, should the pair hold the uh, 101 level, we will be targeting the 102-103 box to the upside. A continuation lower could touch as low as 98. Let's take a look at the YUK, the U.S. versus the Japanese yen. Well, we had the 80 and a half, 81 as support uh, for the U.S. dollar against the yen. Now, a bounce uh, here could test uh, 82, uh, 83 this week. However, continued weakness brings the 78, 79 box into the picture as the next major support level. Next up, the EUI, the U.S. versus the Euro. Well, the dollar attempted an early in the week rally against the Euro and sub subsequently dipped lower. However, the 71 and a half, 72 focal zone remains a clear support level. Now, a break above 72 should yield a retracement towards 74. However, a failure to hold this level uh, at the 71 and a half focal zone here opens the window for a test of 69.70. Let's take a look at the BPX, the U.S. versus the British pound. Well, the 62 and a half, 63 level still holds as support for the U.S. dollar against the pound. A bounce should test 64. However, failure to hold 62 and a half is likely to trend down into the 60-61 box. Let's take a look at the U.S. versus the Australian dollar as seen here in the ISCFX options pair value AUX. Well, the 100-101 level held as support for the U.S. dollar against the Australian dollar. While the uh, trend in force remains to the downside, a retracement could test uh, as high as 103. A drop below 100 brings the 96-97 box into the picture as the next major support. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index seems to have found some short-term support at 76.77 as anticipated. A bounce should test 78. However, the trend remains to the downside in the bigger picture. The CDD slipped as low as 100 and bounced. A break above 101 should yield a test of 102.103 for resistance. The YUK tested 80 and a half, 81 for support. A retracement should target 82, 83. However, failure to hold support opens the window for a continuation down into our 78, 79 level. The EUI continues to drop, but showed some signs of a reversal last Friday. A break above 72 opens the window for a move toward 74. The BPX held support at 62 and a half, 63, opening the window for a bounce toward 64. Failure to hold 62 and a half, 63 suggests a probable drop to 6061. The AUX continues to trend to the downside, as with last week, 100, 100 and a half is a key support level. A break above 101 should signal a retracement higher. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 17, 2010. As always, I'm Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an OptionSource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISEFX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. 
These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.